Hi friends, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tech Lake Video Tutorials. So in this video, I am going to give you one of the real time scenarios. How to handle bad records or how to handle bad data in PySpark. So whenever you are reading data uh, through file, so how to handle bad data based on metadata. So how to handle that? I will see with one simple example. You will get more clarity on Spark read mode when you are reading a file. Uh, how we will use a read mode, how we will use a bad records part, that we will understand now. So let's start with one simple example. So what I'll do, I'll take one simple example uh, as a data file. So the data file which is available in my GitHub, which you can go to my GitHub, uh, there's a repository called PySpark Telugu. So there you can find one folder called SH. There you can find one uh, file called channels so folder and then file file name it is a channels data just view to raw take this data file take this data file and what i'll do i'll create one notebook and i'll create a file and i explain this you see this few columns are there and records comma delimiter last two records does not have any delimiter it's a tab delimiter so even if you have a different uh, data type even if you have a different more number of columns so how we will handle that let's see with the example i'm going to copy this data then go to the data bricks create a new notebook how to handle bad data or you can say how to uh, use a spark read a read mode how to use spark read mode let's create a notebook and I'll create a, once netbook is available, I'll create a file using a dbutils.fs.put. I'll create a file, data file name it is, uh, in file store, tables, channels.csv. So if when you are creating a data file, right, if data is more than one line, use a triple quotes, then copy paste the data, and then I'll use a, a different another one which is uh, having a uh, more number of columns okay more number of columns here i'll give some different value okay so first these records are valid records next three records are bad data bad data means this row is uh, having more number of columns and again, uh, this row is a single row, but a different delimiter or maybe different data type. Consider I'll create another one with a different data type. So first column is integer. Then I'll go with some text value. So that means wrong data. Let's create this file. And take this file and create a data frame. So data frame name, I'll create a channels using spark.read.csv is a read api and a header is available i'll specify header equal to true and i'll use the first info schema to get that metadata because i need a metadata so if you want to use a read mode i need a metadata so i will show you the data as well let's wait let's take this metadata to create a schema to use the read mode. So what I'll do, I'll create a schema underscore channels. This is the schema. Okay, and import data types from PySpark library from PySpark.sql.types. Import all data types star and channel I will say one of the integer data field, so I'll use the integer here. Let's meanwhile you can I'll display this data and I will show you default. If you go with the display, you see this first five records are valid record, but if you go this next three records, these records are invalid data. Okay, invalid data means so this entire column data is coming here, but data frame is this. I created a default infer schema, right? Infer schema default it will accept the data even if it is a bad data. So that we will call it as read mode, Spark read mode. So 
Spark is having multiple types of read modes, which you can use the option. So the first read mode, default read mode is permissive. So permissive is one of the default read mode. So whenever you are going with a permissive, what will happen? It will allow the bad data. It will allow the bad data. And schema still are not used. I will show you that later. Just will go with the permissive. Default is permissive. Permissive means it will allow the bad data. Okay. So you see this bad data is coming. Default is permissive mode. Then I'll create this and I'll use the schema. So schema is one other option which you can use this. But when you are reading a file, follow this metadata. If, if any data is not matching with this, then reject. So permissive means it will allow. Permissive means it will allow. But problem is, so we mentioned as an integer data type. If you look at this, so integer, it is coming as a string. It is default giving as a null. But here these values are coming. So still it is a bad data only. Still it is a bad data. If you want to go with another option, fail fast, default is permissive, it will allow bad data. Another one is fail fast. So fail fast means whenever you get a bad data, it will raise exception saying that a particular file received malform record. If you want to continue to the process, use a permissive. Permissive means it will allow bad data. Fail fast means it will stop your program, raise exception. No, no, I don't want to raise an exception. I want to process valid data. I want to remove bad data. So that is called drop malformed. Drop malformed. So this is one of the option. Drop malformed. Now you see five records are valid data. The remaining three records. This record is bad data. It is deleted. Deleted means it is ignored while reading. Consider you have a scenario, your client sent 1000 records, out of 1100 records are bad data, you reject it and you loaded 900 records. What will happen, a client will ask you, boss, where is my remaining 100 records, why you rejected that? You should give us some proper reason, why you rejected 100 records. So you should compare with again source file, whatever you loaded this file, they need to take that file, then compare that. If you have millions of records, it is very time consuming process. It is very time consuming process to identify rejected data if you use a drop malformed. Then how to achieve that? How to achieve this? So even there is another option called Databricks develop that option that is called bad records path. So instead of drop read mode, you can use bad records path. You can specify the location of where you want to store that bad data. Consider channels so here i'll create one folder called bad data so in this location so bad records path this is one of the option if you use this if you use this and ignore this infer schema because when you are you already using this when you are already using schema option you don't need to use this infer schema because infer schema is very dangerous one so now we are already using the schema option ignore that infer schema bad records path when you go for bad records path it will read the data good data it will display for you bad data it will write into this location based on this based on this go and verify go and verify so this location it will create a timestamp folder so now we process right that timestamp folder you can find inside this. Then inside that another folder it will create a bad data. There it you can find the JSON format. JSON format file. Bad records. Here you can find the data file which is rejected data. So simply what you can do, you can take this location, create a data frame, df, bad data. So reading. So spark dot read dot json because it's a json file then you can specify that path inside that another one inside that another folder so here you can find the bad data so three total when it comes to data rejected data 
you should find here total four records are rejected which file it is having that's a file name what is the region malform record and which record it is rejected so this is one of the option which you can go with bad records path bad records path so good data will be uh, provided to, into a data frame based on this metadata so data type matches number of column matches delimiter matches then it remaining any data type is not matching then it will return as bad data so bad data will return into this location now this is bad data this is bad data it will write into json format in this location this is a json file even i will show you that json file you can read using head option head file name sorry it's with us and there is another approach traditional very old and approach this is a new new one which you can use and there is another approach called you need to create one column you need to create one column so that column uh, should be string type should be string type bad data so that column you need to use option here so there is an option which you need to use column name of column name of corrupt record so which you need to specify this which you need to specify this this column you need to specify that option so if you go to that spark api if you use a help function spark dot read dot csv right csv what are the available options like parameters which you can see this column name of corrupt record this option you can use this so column name of corrupt record if you use that okay so that column this column it should be a string type just i'll specify that this is the column should be string type not an integer type because that may be any rejected data total data will be available here and which you can go with a uh, false but anyway when you are reading default it will ignore that uh, for data frame level only data set level or rdd level it will consider that okay true now bad records path so now what will happen whenever you use this option right default mode is permissive mode default mode is permissive mode so when you use the permissive mode when you use the column name of correct record the bad data will come here you see this wherever this column is null that is good data wherever column is having data that is a bad data so what you can do you can filter that okay you can filter saying that good data into one data frame using a filter where that column bad data is null then drop that column we don't need that column drop bad data then create another create another data frame which is bad data which is bad data filter is not null then select only that column because we need only bad data into this column good data into this data frame now if you run this it will create a two data frames so this data frame will be having a good data which you can use a display and you can verify that good data only good data you see this perfect now this data frame will be having bad data but when it comes to bad data we are selecting that column that column actually is not available from file so whenever you use a column name of corrupt record first you need to cache your data frame or only that column whatever column or entire data frame but entire data frame is not suggested which you can only select that column and cache that now your display will work because that column actually not coming from source we added here in between so in at spark level that will be available so this data frame will have a bad data this data frame will have a good data this is very traditional old approach which you can use a column name of correct record additional work you need to do you need to add this column you need to add this option you need to filter based on this column where that column is null uh, remove that column that will be having original data and take only that column where is not null 
that will be having bad data. This will be having bad data. So this way which we can handle bad data while reading from a file. So read mode, one is one option. Default is permissive. So with the permissive, we can go with this option. Another one is bad records path. That is developed by Databricks, which you can use in you can use. So bad records for the best option, which you can find a file name with the bad data reason. Also, you can find this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video. Thank you. Have a good day.